So what is Tiny10 and why people are installing it? So basically Tiny10 is a lightweight version of Windows 10 and it is developed by a developer name is Andy Dave. So basically this project has removed all kind of unnecessary and bloatware app from this Windows 10 and make it very very light operating system. So basically this can run with 1 GB RAM and it will take only 5.2 GB disk space when you install it on your system right. So basically Tiny10 with 32 bit system it will take only 5.2 2 GB disk space and run with 1 GB RAM and if you have 64 bit system then it will take only 10 GB disk space and run with 2 GB RAM right and this is really amazing because Windows 10 take 22 GB disk space whenever you install it on your system so basically it reduces 17 GB disk space which is very great and that's why it is running very smoothly so you might be thinking like if he remove all kind of bloatware or services from these Windows 10 and make it tiny 10 so all windows 10 features are available here or it is working perfectly fine or not so yeah definitely all core windows features are available and you are not going to miss any kind of functionality so basically he just remove all the pre-installed app like image viewer internet explorer media player which people are not using it so basically if you want to install you can sideload if you want he also removed microsoft store windows security which causing very much high ram uses right in this all core windows apps are available like PowerShell, CMD command, disk management, all things are available here. So you are not going to miss any kind of functionality here. And if you are a gamer or video editor, you are thinking, can I edit my videos and render perfectly? Yeah, definitely you are not going to miss any kind of feature here. And I also read some blogs. They are saying like we have played some games like CSGO or Call of Duty, all these kind of games. They are not lagging and not any kind of FPS drops. So basically you can try it on your system okay so let's see how we can install it and how you can get this iso so iso you can get it on my telegram or i will put the mega link if you're not able to download from mega you can just go to my telegram and download it okay so for this you need at least 8 gb pen drive so let me insert my pen drive here okay so now i have inserted my pen drive here and for making bootable usb you need to use rufus here you will see rufus so just scroll a little bit and download this rufus 3.18 save it and open so while making bootable usb you need to understand some points like uh, which partition scheme you need to select so now just select your iso which you have downloaded from my telegram or mega link right so i already downloaded it let me select the iso file so you will get both iso like 64 bit or 32 bit system okay so i have 64 bit so let me select this one and now here is the catch like uh, which partition scheme you need to select so basically you need to check which partition scheme your drive have okay so for that you need to right click on this windows logo go into disk management and in which disk you want to install like my this ssd so right click on it and go to properties in properties you will see here volumes in volumes you will see here this is gpt partition in your case maybe it is mbr so you need to select according to that like here gpt or mbr so i have gpt so let it be selected okay and now just need to click on start and it is going to format your usb drive so if you have any data in that so just back up and click ok Now we have created this bootable USB of Tiny10. Now just reboot your system. If you are installing in the same system, if you want to install in another system, just plug your pen drive and press the boot key. If you don't know boot key, you can just directly go to Google and search for it like HP boot key, Dell boot key. So whatever company laptop you have, just search for that and just power on your system and press the boot key and you will directly navigate to this screen. And here you will see Windows installation setup. So just click on this next button and click here install now it's a very smooth process to install it select this checkbox and click next click here custom install windows only now you need to select the drive in which you want to install and format that drive if you already installed any operating system in that so i haven't installed any operating system in this drive it is clean so just click here next So you need to select your reason in which reason you are so i'm selecting united states select yes if you are from india you can select english india or you can also select us as well so i'm going to select this english india and click yes skip this 
sign in with your microsoft work or school account so i don't have these kind of account right now i will click here domain join instead so who is going to use this pc so just type your name click next and if you want to enter any password you can enter otherwise just click here next now you need to turn off these settings like uh, don't want to share location turn off all these settings click here accept Now we have installed this Tiny 10 successfully and you can see it is exactly same like Windows 10. After clicking on this start menu you may have noticed like it remove all kind of bloatware which comes with Windows 10. So you will not see here any kind of pre-installed app like OneDrive, Windows Security or Microsoft Store and blah blah blah. So all these craps are just removed from this Tiny 10. Let me show you the resources uses like go into task manager and go into performance. And now you can see here utilization is 1%, 60 processes are running, even it is going to 0% utilization. That means there is no load on CPU. And let me show you memory. Now you can see it is using only 445 MBs RAM. So 1.5 GB is available. This system have only 2 GB RAM. So you can understand it is going to run very very smoothly. Okay so just open this start menu and go to settings and all things are same. You don't don't need to worry about anything here like go into system you have all HDR settings and sound display all things are working perfectly fine and if you worrying about like uh, all the drivers are working perfectly yeah all the drivers are working perfectly now you can see the disk space it is using only 6.65 GBs so it is not taking much space in your C drive so okay guys that's it about tiny 10 I hope you enjoyed watching this video so just like and subscribe if you are new on this channel so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video